It's ours. It's ours. It's so echoey right now. This situation sorted and lots of boxes from from where they came. And our bed. Our nice big queen bed. Hello vlog, it's been a few days since I filmed because we've been moving, we've been dealing with moving out and in in a lot of different locations. So it's been a bit hectic, I'm exhausted, we are both exhausted. So just ready for a bit of a pause on unpacking at and moving at that rate, if any of this makes sense. But yeah, right now we've got just like some boxes and stuff, but the open space is showing up again on our floor. So we've got, you know, some room and we can see our beautiful, beautiful place. So I will have some updates later on this week, but for now, just to check in and the light here does that weird thing with the line. I'm, I'm figuring it out. Hello vlog. So I really wanted to do like an empty tour and a bunch of stuff. I had a lot of plans for the things that I wanted to film. And honestly, this process was way too difficult to actually film through. We both noticed how much living in the state of all the roaches and like the, the nonsense was getting to us mentally, but we really were just, we got it, we had to leave there and we had to start getting everything into here and just like focus. So there was no empty tour or anything, but um, I did go grocery shopping today, so I will do a little bit of grocery hauling. So I know I showed a little bit yesterday of like an overview generally of what we're looking at and what we're feeling. We still have a lot of things to pick up and we still have a lot of like areas to fill out. None of it is where it's supposed to be, maybe except for the couch and the bed, obviously. So things are constantly moving around and we still need to buy a TV. We need like a dresser in the bedroom for in our closet, you know, all of that. So um, let's do a little bit of a grocery haul, shall we? So I've been to the store already once because I had to pick up some just general essentials to pop into our apartment. This trip was more because we're gonna start cooking because again, since we're on cockroach watch still, we weren't cooking stuff yet. And every time I see the smallest little speck anywhere, I'm like, ah, because I think that I see another one. And I'm just so done with that that I really don't want to deal. But you know, can't mentally check out of that yet. It's very mentally draining. Save on foods, obviously, is something that we didn't really go too much. We went to IGA in downtown and it was basically the most expensive option outside of Whole Foods and it became very competitive with Whole Foods at a certain point. So that was exciting for us. <laughs> I wish I had a receipt from the old days, but basically it was too much money all the time. Oh, what I'll say about that. All of this was $80. $3. Veggies, we got our tomato sauces, oil, which is like a one-time purchase every once in a while. Pasta, the orzo, and we do need to rebuy all of our plastic containers for it because we 
you know, tossed all of those as well. Ground beef because that's what's for dinner tonight. Uh, some salad dressing to go with these to fill out the fridge. And Tommy really likes this hummus, so I got that. We're still building out stuff. We have a couple of different places, obviously, to try. Because in downtown, we used to get our groceries from like six different places. I feel like I've done little spots of this place, but I'll do a bigger tour, obviously. But right now, I'm gonna pop all this into our fridge and uh, yeah. chaotic in here because we are slowly unpacking and we are getting ready to pack for a trip. We got a massive Amazon order today so I'll show quickly what that is because I unpacked everything already because I didn't want any address mishaps or anything like that. We've got a duvet cover because we didn't have one and we just bought the duvet. We got these ceramic pans and two pots so it was a set of eight so we have four or eight it was a set of six so two of these pans and two of these pots with lids which is great we got a set of 10 of these containers it's a 10 piece thing so basically we have the lids and the large size and the lids and the small size that they stored inside for just better use so five of each i bought this little plastic piece to put in between the gap in the oven because i don't want anything falling over when we use a stove top in between this crevice so that is that and then i'll put the other one on this side but i wanted to test out the one side and i think it's fine i think i like it it's only available like in black for the ones i found but that matches the oven side it does block a little bit of this but if i get really picky i can just like cut it shorter so that is that what else did we get ah yes we got a compost bin that we we're going to be returning because it's way too small we got this little trash can set because of the like recycle separation that is required in this building and in most buildings in bc so we are going to use these accordingly they're not labeled for anything specific so you can pick what they're for but we won't throw garbage in this we're just going to throw different types of recycling it being small means we are going to have to take stuff out pretty regularly which is totally fine because i don't want to attract pests or bugs we've come from cockroaches we don't want to return to that. I bought a bike lock, but it's currently sitting on the combination. So I have that over there. Oh, but the other thing I got was the motion sensor lights. So there we go. In the bathroom in the evenings, we'll have the auto sensor here. And then I also put one in this little mini hallway space because I don't know, you never know, right? It might be helpful. So yeah, I have a lot of things to do today and I'm gonna be a homebody because Tommy's actually out today, just left and we'll be out for the rest of the day uh, playing Dungeons and Dragons with some friends. We went back to the storage unit yesterday, picked up a bunch of stuff and all of our suitcases for our trip. And there's just a bunch of clothes and things to slowly unpack that we were doing very slowly to just give the cockroaches time to die if there were any of them still here. So yeah, that's, um, that's the vibe for today. I'm gonna change the bed sheets. I'm gonna do some house stuff. I'm gonna do my March budget because I always do that at the end of every month and we're running a bit late because we are well into April. But yeah, that's uh, that's what today has got in store for me. We had to replace all of our appliances. So our kettle, our toaster, our rice cooker, all of the things are gone now. And also the handheld vacuum I had and the standing vacuum I had from Amazon because honestly, there's so many orifices. You don't know, you don't know if a pest's gotten into them. And we saw a roach the first stay here and we were pissed so we just threw away everything else like i even threw away our magic bullet all of our blenders like literally everything is gone that we owned which was a very expensive restart more than we had hoped but you know that's also why a lot of this stuff is still in boxes because like i am not like i i'm just not so everything i open up now is being unpacked on the balcony if it's not sealed in a plastic container right now so that's why our balcony is full of stuff and i'm going to be unpacking like four or five boxes on the balcony today and then bringing it in after i shake each piece out because uh uh nah, nah. i got a test done a couple of weeks ago for food sensitivity so i've been doing a lot of diet changes in the last few days and i already had my first breakfast because my lunch is my main meal. So I guess we can call it like first lunch, second lunch, but this is actually just like a snack because I'm hungry. Blackberry, strawberry, raspberry, granola. And then I have vegan plant-based yogurt because uh, apparently I can't do dairy anymore. So that's fun. There's granola in it as well that has no wheat in it. And I have chia seeds because those are good for you always. I will be watching more of Ripley on Disney, not Disney, Amazon, not Amazon, the other one, Netflix. I'll be watching it on Netflix I'm on episode five 
five now. It's been a pretty interesting show. Um, I'm on three body problem as well, but I stopped after episode four just before our move because I got too busy with the move. Um, and now I'm just kind of settling in with that. So we will stay tuned for that and hope that it uh, continues to be an interesting show. Oh, it's one of the Hooters. Oh. I wonder, it's like white. I forget like what we have because of how like long ago I packed stuff. It's just kind of cute. <laughs> Can't reach above. Looks like we're creating a problem for later. <laughs> We are getting ready to host tonight with minus the two things on the bed. I put a new comforter cover on, which is great. Our laundry is hiding in here. And we cleared out that entire space here today and our balcony looks pretty good as well because most of that again got cleared. So yeah, I put together this yesterday, as you saw. We cleared off this, we cleared off this. We're gonna play Dungeons and Dragons in our little conversation pit here. And ooh, the kitchen's also quite nice right now, minus the fact that the potatoes don't need the cover anymore excellent and then here also quite cleared out this is stuff that i'm still slowly unpacking but the buffet looks amazing and we got these new little lights like i showed yesterday and i don't think it'll turn on because it's not bright enough or not dark enough but god that light we are still figuring it out aren't we <laughs> also tommy accidentally like totally by accident spread these magazines in such a great way that I'm like obsessed. He like put his computer on and I think grabbed it and then it just kind of like shuffled them. So I love, I love that. Good first night hosting, honey. Yeah. Much space. <laughs> 